Hey, it's Arrow, and this is Vocal Defrag. We do a vocal defrag while taking a walk through this beautiful forest here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. It's an opportunity to come out into nature and receive everything that is moving through you at all times. Vocal defragging is an opportunity for you to ask yourself the questions because we spend so much time asking other people what we should do. And then when it goes wrong, then we blame ourselves for listening to them. I mean, in your own career, you've invested so much energy in trusting this company that for right now is financing your lifestyle, but then without notice, they suddenly disappear or you fall off their map because they want to make a change, a change that you couldn't change. In other words, they already had it in their mind. Your number came up and now you're disappointed with yourself and you're going to try to silence yourself. Vocal defragging is asking yourself the questions and questioning the answers. I also keep a written journal, which is just called a defrag journal, where I get to physically see the questions. I don't get to hear the emotions though. That's the reason why it's also evolved into the vocal defrag. Because I want to be able to hear the pitch, volume, tone, the disappointment in your voice, the excitement in your voice. And I also want to be able to see it in the writing because your handwriting says a lot about your personality. And no matter how many times you use big words or poetry to kind of explain a situation or an emotion, you know what? Your handwriting is going to speak the truth. This is Vocal Defrag. Today we're going to talk about something that we all do, it's just that nobody talks about it. We do it with our smartphones and we also do it with our smart television sets. There are many times in our life that we are reminded it's time to clear the cachet. So I wanted to know, do we do the same thing with our brains? Is it a stupid thought to go, hey Google, is there such a thing as clearing the cachet in your brain? You know what? It is very real. And there's so many ways that we do it. Some of them are natural. Other ways we have to learn how to do it. And so the way that we get it naturally is through sleeping. Sleeping actually puts a chemical or a fluid inside your brain that comes from your spine. And it gets up there and it cleans things out. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to clean out your memories or your personal experiences, your good days, your bad days. No, it's cleaning out the cachet in your brain. All of that excess stuff that we collect just by walking through a grocery store. I happen to work at one. I know where 98.9% of the stuff is. Not because I was testing my memory, but because I walk down those lanes so many times on the average day that my mind has taken it all in. I've done so much research on dreaming and the people that we see in our dreams, your mind isn't creating those people. Those are people that you've met along the way that through clearing the cachet in your brain, you see them in your dreams and then they're gone. Your imagination does not create the pictures for you. It's what you've gone through. So learning how to study what you dream, to document what you dream, just to kind of experience it, not to go through the, not to go through the nightmares or the twists and turns, but to see your cachet physically and mentally leaving your system. Once again, that's the natural way it does it. It happens while you're sleeping. The fluids from your spine go up, kind of wash out the brain. You wake up. And you, and you didn't take notes? Why not? This is supposed to be a learning experience. And that's where usually people will tell me, dude, I'm so sick and tired of being a student in life. I just want to live life. But here's a twist in all of that. When you begin to understand your life, now you're living life. Now you're allowing yourself to explore, to get off that track where you keep doing the same thing over and over again. Other ways that you can clear the cache in your brain... I like this one. Spirituality. Being in this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina, 48 degrees out here, my nose full of snot, my dog smelling every single leaf that fell from the tree because she thinks she's trying to find the needle in the haystack. I can hear the birds calling from a distance. I can hear the water lapping on the lake, which is maybe, maybe 700 feet from here. The spirituality of everything around you. I'm not talking about whipping out books of, of religion or anything like that. It's everything that makes up the atmosphere of where you are. I can be in downtown New York and right there on that very busy street, thousands of people and lots of honking horns, and I'm going to find my spirituality. It really has nothing to do with prayer. It has nothing to do with Bible verses. Spirituality is accepting the presence of now, being aware of where you are, and you know what? Leaving the judgment outside of where you are. 
So that's the second part of it. The first one, once again, is naturally you clear the cachet in your brain by sleeping. Number two, it's through spirituality, accepting the atmosphere of now and learning how to grow with it. And it doesn't happen overnight. That's one of those things that is going to take some time because you're always going to judge yourself when you get into those moments of spiritual growth and you say, well, you know, what was, what was wrong with the old me? I want to come along here and I want to grow, but you know, I, I liked the way I was in the past. I just needed to clear out some cachet. And so we go back to our old habits and we go back into a mode of mind that really is like, huh, been here, done it, here we go again. Now, number three, meditation. Meditation is one of those journeys that has taken me years to understand. But here's where I finally started growing with it. Learning about it. Not doing it because I saw a YouTube video. Not doing it because I'm reading it in a book. Not doing it because, you know, hey, everybody is talking about it from the Beach Boys on. Got to do some meditation. Understanding what meditation is and how it works inside your subconscious mind is how you grow with it. Understand the signs. Physically feel for yourself what it is doing to you and accepting the self that you are. Now, my meditation is Nidra, which a lot of people have heard of, but they don't practice it because it really gets in there. It gets in there and it really does clear out the cachet. And when you clear out the cachet, you're able to take a rainy day and see the sunshine. What? I know, it sounds kind of weird, right? Well, it's, it's an exercise. It's a discipline. It's an opportunity to get to know who you are by asking the questions and questioning the answers. Do you really think it's easy for me to pick up a digital device and ask myself questions? It's my stupid voice. I've been in radio for 44 years and I still can't stand this thing. But when I'm asking myself a question and I'm being truthful with the answers, all of a sudden you're saying things that have been locked up inside that brain and the cachet cleansing hasn't worked until you ask the right questions and you keep asking the questions, not as a father who's trying to get to the bottom of who broke the vase. No, no. It's you showcasing avenues of love and asking the types of questions that really bring out that inner core of your personality. Asking the questions and then questioning the answers. And then taking the time to go back and listen to it without judgment. You're listening to it as a student. You're listening to it as somebody who is in love with the self that you are. And that is not conceit. That is an opportunity to get to know you. So one more time, clearing out the cachet in your brain. Naturally, get your sleep because that spinal fluid's got to get up there and it's got to get rid of those pictures and all those experiences. But it's not going to destroy your memory. That's not what it's about. It's clearing out the stuff that you don't need. Number two, spirituality. Get to know your city. Get to know your nearest park. Mother Nature is waiting to knock on your heart and give you the type of love that really is just unbelievable. Learn to become a daily journal writer. Because if you don't document your personal growth, how do you know you're growing? But you're judging, right? And number three, clearing out the cachet, meditation. Take up yoga, get into martial arts, get into the jogger's run, get into something where it takes your mind to a level that you really can't explain. You just know it felt good being there. Ask the questions, question the answers. Vocal defrag. Nobody has to listen to it. Even with your daily writing, if you ask yourself the questions, just put it in a place where you don't think people are going to find it. And even if they do, who cares? They're going to ask the questions anyway. You're going to him and haw and probably come up with a lie to tell them. I'm Errol.